Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to optimize Fortnite and your PC for increased performance and lower delay. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I will be posting more videos like this on Mondays 5 p.m. East. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to our Fortnite settings. Once you're in here, you want to go to video and then display. Here you're going to see window mode. You always want this on full screen. You don't want to put it on windowed, full screen, or windowed at all. Preferably, you want to be using full screen with full screen optimizations. To do this, you'll join my Discord server, which will be linked in the description below. Head over to the resources channel right here. Scroll up a bit. And you'll see enable MPO and FSO. Once you do that and download it, you want to basically run as administrator. It will ask you if you're on Windows 10 or 11. I'm on Windows 10, so I'm going to press 1 and enter. If you get an error here, that's completely fine. Leave it. It's going to ask you to press any key to continue and then do that. Once you're done with that, you want to basically go back to the file explorer on the bottom right here or wherever you have it. You want to go over to your drive, go to program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, 164. Once you're in here, you want to right click your Windshipping EXE, click Properties, Compatibility. You want to make sure Disable Full Screen Optimizations is unchecked. If it's grayed out and you have this box right here, you want to click this and then uncheck it right here and then go back. And you want to make sure it's like this for all your Windshipping EXEs. So for this one too, mine is disabled. The Fortnite Launcher, mine is actually disabled right here, it's checked. So I'm going to uncheck that right here and click OK and then I'm done I have full screen optimizations enabled now okay now looking at the other settings resolution you, the lower you go the more FPS you're gonna have if you have low specs then I recommend you do that if you use stretch resolution you want to make sure you do it properly you have a video on how to do that but usually the lower you go the more performance you're gonna have if you think you want to turn that off frame rate limit you want to either cap this at your monitors hertz or a multiple of it don't cap it at like 3 FPS under I don't know why people recommend that but you want to basically cap it at your monitor hertz or multiple so for me I have a 165 hertz monitor I'm going to cap it at either 165 or 330 say you have a hertz or a specific number you want to cap it at that's not here you're going to do that in the config file so you'll click windows key R right here you'll do percent local app data go to Fortnite game saved config windows client game user settings you'll edit it with notepad you'll scroll down and you want to look for your fps cap so i'll just click 165 i'll do control f and 165 because that's what i have it capped at right now and then in here you're going to see frame rate limit you can just search for frame rate limit also if you don't know your fps cap but you'll see fr frame rate limit right here you can change this to what you want to put it as so say i want 330 since it's a multiple of 165 that's not there i'll put 330 right here also look for the actual one yeah frame rate limit there's two of them i'll do 330 right here i'll click Control s to save it and then i'll exit out and then restart my game and that's going to give me a 330 fps cap right here um rendering mode if you have a good PC, sometimes you could get away with using DirectX 12. I recommend just using performance mode. It's way better than DX11. You don't want to be using DX11 at all. It's either performance mode or DX12. Usually performance is always better. Okay, now going on to graphics. This is all personal preference. I would just leave it on default. Graphics quality right here. I really recommend you keep this at 100. I'll see people recommending like 75 or 80. If you are going to lower your 3D resolution, I recommend just lowering your resolution overall. So say you want 80% right here, you'll just keep this at 100, but you'll do 80% of 1920, which will be like 1536, and then 80% of 1080, which will be like 864, and then you'll just change that resolution in your config file. So if I were to go over there right now, and I'm switching my resolution, from 1920 I'll put this to like 1536 and then my resolution Y to 864 I don't know if this is the exact number but I'll, I'll do that for these resolution sizes instead of putting my 3d resolution at 80% I'll just actually make my resolution 80% of what it is and that will give me the same effect and do it better than doing it through here instead um, going down now 
nanite virtualized geometry just keep that off viewed instance near textures it's personal preference i want to keep it at epic i have it at high but i would just recommend low for everybody i'm just gonna keep mine on high though meshes low you always want to be using low meshes show fps on that's just personal preference and this report performance stats disable that i'm going into audio now a lot of this is just personal preference also sound quality high or low doesn't really matter i recommend just using high 3d headphones i'll turn that off background audio doesn't really matter subtitles i know back in the day there used to be a placebo thing with this if you want to copy these settings you can but i don't really think it matters um visualize sound effects personal preference i would just have it on for competitive play um license audio audio output you know you should always have your audio output on your headphones license audio doesn't really matter um communication this is just personal preference also nothing to do here game you want to go over to extra game options right here and video highlights you want to turn that off unless you use it um peripheral lighting doesn't really matter personal preference it's not that big of a deal record replays you want to have all of these off unless you really do use it and you need it but i recommend just keeping it off energy saving you want to turn this on to never enable idle energy saving you want to keep that off and enable inactive window energy saving you want to keep this off as well and click apply so within the Fortnite game settings that's a lot of what i can recommend to you guys as for your pc there's a lot more that you can do Fortnite is actually ram dependent it's not cpu dependent you'll see a bunch of people spreading misinformation saying it's cpu dependent but if you were to just overclock your cpu and overclock your ram you'll see you'll get a way larger benefit overclocking your ram than your cpu but what this also means is that we can do things that impact our cpu and ram performance in order to get a really huge benefit within Fortnite. so the first thing i'm going to do is download power run and auto run cpu you can get this by joining my discord server linked in the description below and heading over to the program channel it's going up and downloading it and once you do that you want to open a power run folder you want to run power run.exe as administrator and then you want to head over to file on the top and you're going to see allow command line if it's already checked it's fine if it's not checked you want to check it we'll just click on it and allow it and what this is basically going to do is when we open the power run folder and drag auto runs exe on top of power run exe it's going to give us administrative privileges to detect and see everything that we can in here now once it's done scanning you'll see it on the bottom left when it's completely finished you want to basically go down and then look for task scheduler you're going to disable all the things that you don't want running in your background so for example, Google System Updater. I don't want Google updating while playing Fortnite, so I'm going to disable that. Microsoft Edge Update, I'm going to disable that as well. See, I already have a bunch of things disabled in here, like Windows Defender. But you want to disable the things that you don't want running in the background. If you have MSI Afterburner because you overclocked your GPU, keep that on because this is how it actually sets the overclock the task scheduler, so don't disable that. Zoom Update, I'm going to disable that as well. I don't want that in the background video app self update i'm going to disable that as well going down to services it's the same exact thing disable the things that you don't want running in the background keep easy anti-cheat and be service right here you need that for Fortnite to run future mark system info i don't want that google chrome elevation don't want that don't want none of these um iccs you want to be careful with the intel ones but usually you could disable a lot of these same with Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Sensor Service, Nebula. I don't want my webcam on while playing Fortnite. Quantum Services for my headphones. I'm not gonna disable that. Rockstar Service doesn't really matter. Sometimes I get on, so I keep that on. Windows Defender, these services as well. I recommend you just disable them. And then in here, you're gonna see just regular services that your PC has. MEI management engine surface if you have Intel you want to disable this that's just spyware and I wouldn't really mess with any of these really because these are what your PC uses for some hardware and stuff that is just the basics of what we do in auto runs by the way if you want to go more in depth I have a whole separate video on that on reducing CPU cycles go check that out if you want to get even more benefit 
as for your network there's a lot of things that you can do like i said in this video i'm only covering the most important things so if you want to go more in depth make sure you check out my other videos and in my discord server as well if you want to get the most benefit but what we're going to do is go over to group policy editor right now to set a tscp priority we're going to click windows key r type gp edit msc we're going to just expand this so it's easier to see you're going to go over to computer configuration windows settings expand that policy based qos you want to right click it click advanced qos settings tscp marking override you want to check this box check ignored and click ok and here you're going to right click it now click create create new policy policy name you can name this whatever i'm going to name it fortnite Specify DSCP value. I have a whole video on this and resource in my Discord server. There are values that work better than others. If you want that, go do your research, but I recommend 46 for everybody. Click next. Only, applica uh, only applications with this executable name. You're gonna go over to your file explorer, go to your drive, program files, type of games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binary, 164. In here, you want to make sure when you click view on the top, you want to make sure that file name extensions is checked. Once you have that, you're going to click on your Winship in EXE, right click it, click rename, control A, and control C to copy it. Once you do that, you want to control V in this box, and it should look something like this. Once you do that, you want to click next, you click next again, switch the protocol to TCP and UDP. Click finish and then you, then you set your DSCP priority. If you do have unstable ping, meaning it jitters a lot or it goes up and down really quick, make sure you check out this video on ping spikes and packet loss that I made. It goes really in depth on stabilizing your network connection, so it's good to check out if you have those issues. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe because I will be posting more videos like this. If you want to go more in depth and really boost your performance in Fortnite, really check out my other videos and other guides. There is a lot of things that you can do within your PC to optimize Fortnite. It's one of the games that you can optimize the most. So make sure you check out my other videos if you want more benefit as I always show the most important things in this video. But yeah, see you in the next one.